Hello, and welcome to Crusader Kings 2. Last time we did a bit of clearing up of uh, the war in Saxony and accidentally got in another war of them. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot continue to gain war score in this war as I believe every single province has been sieged by someone or another, so we're just going to have to wait for someone to peace out. I think, though, looking at troop numbers, we've got uh, 5,000 troops. Lombardia is in a civil war and only has 3,000 troops. I think this is a good time to declare war for Lombardia. Claim Lombardia. We're going to raise all of our le levies. Call in anybody who will come in. And let's get them all down somewhere nice and central. Um, so we're going to go down to Nice because they've got this line of mountains which is going to stop us going anywhere else and it's quite close to their capital of Piedmont. Okay, let's let time move forward and let all of our troops gather up. I think after we get Lombardia, I'm going to check this. Oh, there was a siege post in Provence. Okay. Well, it's nice that we managed to siege it. We... Uh... Oh, I'm not looking at the wrong one. Provence. Ah, right. Genoa must be under Lombardia, which is why that's happening. The Pope loves us, which is what we need to create the Holy Roman Empire. Ooh, what's this? The Embrace Carolingian Renaissance. Have culture Frankish become French. Hmm. I'm just checking for any other things we could do. That's a very interesting thing. I think we're going to leave that off just now. Just in case we... I'm going to leave that until we've got all the land. In case we can get like uh, maybe peop if we do this event and we control Lombardia, people in Lombardia will become French as well and then we won't have to convert their culture. I think that would be good. Okay, Holy Roman Empire. We need to be King of Italy or Emperor of Italia. We'll get that in the next war and have prestige. We'll get that in the next war. So, continue letting our troops come, come down here. I think we have enough gathered up now that we can start putting them all in the first province that we want to siege. That's good. All of his troops are currently sieging the revolt, so we'll try and stay out of the way. We don't want to kill any of his troops because that would allow the revolt to win. And that's just completely against what we'd be trying to do. Because then we'd have to declare another war. Uh, we're going to stay in Nice to weave sieged it and then we're going to move on to Piedmont. We're not going to siege all the subholdings right now because we want to try and capture him or a member leader or a member of the leader's family because that could allow us to just win the war outright. I could strive to become better or I could be satisfi satisfied with who I am and what I have. I will never be satisfied, ambitious or I am content. Well, I don't really like content as a thing because it increases liege opinion, which doesn't matter for me. Piety is next to useless most of the time. But ambitious is a really good trait. So, let's see if we get it. Did we get ambitious? No. That's a shame. All of our traits would have gone above 20. And that's really the sign of a great character. Well, there. Not that our character isn't really, really good already. Ogier the Dane. My lord, there's a visitor at the gate, a Norseman calling himself Ogier. He looks strong and rugged, but also speaks with grace and has a noble bearing. He says he comes from the land of the Danes and has travelled far to offer his services to you, naming you rightful lord of all Christians. He also claims to have seen in a dream how you will conquer all and your name will rise to glory in heavens. Welcome, this bringer of good prophecies. Of course I'm going to let him in. I, I want to see what this event, how this event goes. 
Uh, hopefully he'll stay out my way here. Right. Yeah. Kind of wonder where that event will give me more claims. We have five, ti uh, ten times the troop number, so we're gonna assault. Just in the hope of getting something good here. We didn't get anything. Shame. Uh, we're actually gonna go beat up his army because he's actively trying to fight against us now. There is a chance that we'll die, and this will be the worst possible move I can choose. Uh, we are attacking into mountains, but we have double the troops. I think we'll be okay. Let's have a quick look. Our other leaders are fantastic, however. So, it's fine. Although our lead leader is really bad, the other two are really, really good. And we can't crush his army. I'm going to follow it and try and stack wipe it. Um, okay. Sultan of Andalusia has declared war on us. He... Okay. I'm going to pause it here. Let's get a quick look how many troops he has. He has 10,000 troops? That's not good. Who wants to join the war? Bavaria. Perfect. Come join in. Hopefully, we will be able to win this war and then move like get some mercenaries and move into my ad lads to fight them back, but no. So we had to choose a trait. Winter Soldier could be interesting. Mountain Train Master, again, good. I'm not gonna take cavalry or light foot leader because the problem with those is it weakens your other troop types. I think we'll go for mountain expert. There are a lot of mountains around. We're not really in a wintry place. I mean there's some winter up here but we're relatively south as Crusader Kings goes, so. I'll do alright. How many men does Bavaria have? As an aside. Only about a thousand. He might delay the Umayyad slightly. I didn't notice there was a mountain past here. That's very good. What's this? Oh, I need to call in my tribal vassals. To this war. Okay. My bad. Yeah, I don't know if they'll join or if I actually called any more of them, but something else to do. Pope likes us more. It's good. Uh, okay, siege up Genoa here. It should give us a lot of money for sieging Genoa. I could be wrong, but I believe because it's a republic, it'll have a lot more money. Prince Bishop Rickolf's justice has brought peace to a troubled province. Fewer crimes are committed and fewer complaints are heard in the province. The peasants have never been happier. I'm glad to hear that. We sent him some praise. It's good. So, Siege of Genoa, we got 21 gold. It's not bad. We're starting to lose some battles down here. Are they assaulting? It looks like assaulting to me. I believe you can't lose a war without having a major battle, so at least that's what it says in the patch notes. I'm not sure if that's true. I'm sure I've had wars where that's not true, but I'm going to have to see about that in a second. We've got another war cleared us. We've got Slavic Rebellion up north. My king, many of your faithful subjects, myself included, feel that Duke Anselm of Brabant has amassed more power and titles than is warranted by his station. He'd like to know that we would support him wholeheartedly, whereas Brabant. Duchies. Brabant. I wish it would uh, show me who it was. I read this right, Brabant. I don't want to have to use this. Uh... Yeah, okay. Let's go for just our vassal list, maybe somewhere else. Alright, it's up here. I think we gave up this land. Duchy of Holland, Duchy of Brabant. Maybe we gave it to him because we wanted to keep people, make certain people underneath other people. I'll have no part in this scheme. I want my realm organized as I organized it. I don't want my AI vassals organizing for me. We want another battle? I'd really wish that we can finish this Lombardia war quickly because 
I'm starting to get the feeling we're going to lose a little bit of uh, Aquitaine here. It's only declared war for a small chunk of it. I might actually just let it go. It's not necessary for becoming the Holy Roman Emperor. And Lombardia is much larger. So, yeah. Our wife is pregnant again. That's good. More prestige. We now have enough to form the Holy Roman Emperor. But not Empire, but we don't have enough land yet. We'll see a bunch of sieges. Uh, we've got one down here that we can probably go and get at some point. To when is that war? Our spy master is dead. He died of depression. Not sure I've seen that one before, but I'm sure it was in the game previously. I make this guy our spy master opposed to this one. That's because we he has the ambition to become spy master. So it's just uh, he will get another opinion bonus for that. No real problem. There's uh, another thing underneath here. Byzantine Revolt. Okay. Well, that is a new hat he has. From something or another. Not seen that before. Okay, we've almost won this Siege of Genoa now. Looks like he's just going to assault down the war goal. I don't know if he's going to assault anything more, but the more he assaults, less troops he has. So hopefully this is good. We have some people we can ransom for our 10 gold apiece. We'll do that. Uh, continue sieging over here. Actually, we can just sneak into this province here. Does it have a border? It does have a river flowing. We have double the troops and... Yeah, it's plains. And one of our leaders is good in plains. So we'll just... Going. That's plains. I mean, if it isn't plains, it'd be mountains, and we have a leader who's good in mountains as well now, so. It's just a matter of beating up his army. We captured the King of Lombardia. Perfect. Let's just do a little war score count here. I get that. Show me where I'm getting war score from. I want to see how much I was getting from holding the king himself, because I'd actually quite like to just ransom him back. Oh, does he just not have enough money to ransom back? Oh, okay then, we'll win the war. We control that bit of Lombardia. We have inherited the Lombardian revolt. We will go in there. Successor nomination for because Lombardia is an elective kingdom. We are going to choose Karl, who is our heir. We have three kingdoms right now, so... Lombardy. Carl. Right. We can form the Holy Roman Empire right now, which is definitely a possibility. Let me think about it a sec. If we form the Holy Roman Empire, we can start... Have, we can start... Faction down our vassals, getting uh, vassals in order. Is there any reason not to do it? That's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, here. Right, first of all, we're going to release this count so that all of our vassals get an opinion bonus. I quite like the idea of forming the Holy Roman Empire right now. Hope, and hopefully this will give us a larger vassal of it, because we're an emperor. Right. Well, let's form the Holy Roman Emperor. Duke. Hillbrand of Spoleto has usurped the title from somebody. Look here. The Coronation of Charlemagne. Having taken the reins of power without fear, defeated his enemies and ruled the Frankish realm successfully, Karl the Holy was finally crowned Emperor on the 11th of April 779. He stood still as a statue and cold as ice before the throne as the crown of the Holy Roman Empire was solemnly placed upon his head. True heir to his father Pepin, descendant of Karl the Hammer, 
leader of men, master of war. He was claiming his exalted place in history. He looked out across the gathered lords and priests, and his eye fixed on something beyond this triumphant moment. Something great, a new ambition. Glory. Okay. Imagine we're going to get another pop-up in just a sec. I'm going to let the game run for just one or two ticks to see if anything sorts itself out. The Kingdom of Italy. The ancient Lombard Kingdom was established in Italy after a long history of migration originating in Northern Europe. Along the way, the Lombards themselves have changed, both influencing and becoming influenced by the regions they have settled. Now it has finally come to pass that the Lombard lands in Italy have no longer have a Lombard ruler, and this effectively tells the end of the name of the Kingdom of the Lombards. We shall henceforth speak of the Kingdom of Italy, but the Lombard heritage shall live on. All hail to the Emperor, Lombardia is now. Uh, Italy. Okay. We're going to have another couple of ticks. Two. Right. Peace offer has been received. White peace. What will this do? Right. That's fine. I'll accept white peace. He loses prestige and we get our land back. That's good. Can I look at de jure empires? See, the Holy Roman Emperor Empire has appeared here. That's good. Who is... What's it? de jure power? So we have Francia here. Can we put these people as vassals yet? Uh, not de jure liege. It's almost tempting to create the Empire of Francia. Just... Oh, well, we can't anymore. It used to be an event here, didn't it? Or is it a title created? Uh, it was a created title. We could probably just war to get those ones. Trying to think about where next, what next needs to be done. We need to get our vassal limit. So our vassal limit did go up because of the Empire bonus. Emperor ruler is base times 30. But we do need to sort this out a little bit. So see what titles I have first. Because I'm sure I shouldn't have this many kingdom titles, so maybe you're allowed two. I think you're allowed two kingdom titles. We have three. Is someone not meant to be angry at us because of this? Too many kingdoms. What look for as a penalty? No, no one's overly angry at us for this. Kind of deciding whether I want Lombardia like, directly under control. We could have it as a vassal. I am going to make Lombardia a vassal. Then that should put us under a vassal limit because everyone in Lombardia will no longer be directly reporting to us. So let's find a duke in Lombardia who likes us. He is okay with us. I'm ideally looking. He really, really likes us. Spared after rebellion, Christian revolt, Tsar's King of Italy. Yeah, okay. We'll grant uh, the Kingdom of Italy. And all the lower titles. So now, when we look at our vassal thing, he has Italy. We're at a vassal limit. Is he not? Is he not meant to get more of that? Let's see, looking for desires. He wants control of the Republic of Genoa. Okay, it's yours. What else do you want? Nothing. We now have someone incredibly loyal to us down here. We will hopefully control this land well. And we're going to look to fight off this rebellion. Well, rebellion. This uh, uproar. The Islamic attack on uh, Aquitaine. Right. Let's resolve our troops and get them on the way over. 
And I'm gonna end the episode here. And we'll 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 do the wars next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.